And we're back on our 2001 Silverado 2500 HD project. Um, starting on the rear bumper, I'm not going to bore you with uh, watching me take the old one off, uh, which I've already started here. Got some penetrating lube soaking in some of the bolts because uh, the receiver hitch bolts are kind of frozen solid. I don't know if I'm going to get them off or if I'm going to have to cut them off, but one way or the other, it's coming off. And uh, I'll bring you back when we're ready to uh, start on the uh, actual build process. Um, just like the front bumper, I don't have a set plan for this. I'm going to do it on the fly and uh, got a kind of a picture in my head and we'll see how if it comes if it turns out like the picture is. Uh, we are going to add a couple of features to the rear bumper um, which won't show in depth but uh, I'm going to add a couple of receiver hitches that will allow us to uh, mount accessories in here. Um, truck already has a ladder rack so won't need anything for like carrying long stuff or something but um, I do like to mount a vise in, uh, in the back of the truck every once in a while for work out in the field and uh, we'll see what else we come up with. Um, so stay tuned and uh, I'll bring you back as soon as well, we're ready as you to can go. see the old one's off. It didn't give up easily. Uh, ended up cutting the heads off the bolts and uh, beating on it with the machinist hammer, the machinist sledge to uh, get it to uh, come free. But it is free. Got a couple more parts to take off of it. Uh, need the part that uh, guides the rods for uh, lowering the spare tire and uh, the windshield or license plate lights and uh, we're going to keep those factory on the new one. Alright, next step is to get the uh, brackets that's going to mount the uh, bumper to the truck cut out and uh, get those fitted onto the truck. Um, did a little more CAD work and uh, made myself a little pattern. Drew it out on, on the steel here. So we've got uh, our two brackets. We'll get them cut, get them cleaned up, get them over on the drill press drill the holes, do a test fit, um, then we're going to have to add a plate at the bottom that uh, where the uh, receiver hitch comes up and mounts through. Uh, those were the bolts that I had problems with getting the old ones off. Uh, I went back and forth a little bit because the uh, old brackets on the bumper are still in good shape, but they weren't quite what I wanted. So these have a, a three quarter inch drop. So I sized them so I could get them out of, out of a piece of 6 inch wide 3 8 plate and uh, we'll go ahead and get the camera reset here and uh, fire up the plasma cutter and get these cut out. Alright, here we go. Alright, we got these cleaned up. We're going to get them marked out for the, for the hole pattern. Um, the original bolts are these things. I'm not going to reuse these. 
I could, but uh, I'm just going to use some new ones. Uh, so this is about half an inch. So that means the hole in the frame is about half an inch. So we'll probably use half inch grade 8 bolts to mount this up. Uh, maybe we'll use grade 5. So we're going to get the holes marked out here. I've got them marked on the pattern. So I can line this up. There's a hole here, a hole here and a hole here. You know what? That's not right. That's right. <laughs> Make sure we get our holes in the right places. Hole here, hole here, hole here. So, I center punch the holes. Everything's lined up. I'm just going to take, uh, find my hole, give it a tap. We're going to drill both of these at the same time. Um, one little trick I like to do when I'm doing matching parts is after I get them cut out, I will clamp them together and put them in the vise if they're small enough to uh, give a uh, um, to grind them at the same time and then I'll clamp them together to drill them at the same time. So got my holes, let's switch to a marker will show up a little bit better on this. Once again I'm going to circle my center punches. Makes it a lot easier to find when I get over on the drill press. I'm going to make these center punches a little bit deeper. go three holes I'm gonna drill them a little bit oversized uh, sometimes this stuff doesn't line up exactly where you want it when you go to put it on the truck so doing a little bit oversized hole now make it easier to uh, set up later so I'm gonna go ahead and get the drill press set up and we'll get these holes drilled all right got them clamped together Got a piece of wood underneath here to protect my table. Got a starter bit in. We'll drill the three holes, and then we'll switch out to a larger bit and finish them off.
go. Holes done. We'll get some hardware and we'll get this mounted up on the truck. And we'll see where we go from there. Gonna clean up the table here while we're away too. Can't stand it when people don't clean up their tables. Okay, I've got the plates bolted in place. This is what's gonna mount the bumper to the truck. We've got a couple things to add here. We've got to put a small plate in here at the bottom to make it into an L, into an angle iron, so we can pick up the bolt from the receiver hitch. And that'll just add some extra strength in here. And, uh, but before we do that, we're gonna put a level on here, make sure it's, the truck is level. Um, once we have, if, if it's down one side or the other, we'll put a jack under it and raise it up till it's level. Uh, just makes it a lot easier to uh, fit everything in. If you're working off a level surface, then you can use a level to check things and you don't have to worry about um, being out of alignment when it's done. So I'm gonna grab a level and we'll get it on here and give that a check and we'll keep moving forward. It's the same process as the front bumper. We just add piece, one piece at a time kind of know what, where we're going here, so let's just keep moving forward. Okay, truck's sitting a little low on this side. Get the jack under here, get it jacked up until it's perfectly level, and uh, just keep, keep moving ahead. There we go, perfectly level. All right, <clears throat> we got our plates uh, for uh, bolting in the uh, receiver hitch cut and bolted in place. We're gonna tack those in, and we've got a cross member uh, cut that we're gonna well, uh, tack in as well. Then we'll pull this out, get it finished welded, put it back in, and we'll start on the outer bumper skin. Alright, with those set up, we're going to get the cross member in place here and get that tacked in as well. Cross member is a leftover from a previous project. Okay, gonna get the bolts pulled out, and we'll get this up on the bench, and get this all welded in, put it back in place, and then start on the skin. 
All right, we got it back on the bench. <clears throat> we're gonna get set up and we're going to do a little welding. Gonna run a bead here. Actually, a couple partial beads. Same on the other side, flip it over. Got some beads on the inside, we'll run a bead on the inside. Uh, we've got a bead around the uh, cross brace and uh, this will be done. And if we don't warp it too much, it'll fit right back in. There we go, everything's welded in. Um, got a few more parts to cut, I won't bore you with that. And when we come back, we'll weld in the uh, receiver tubes and then get this mounted back on the truck. Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe, like, and leave some comments for us. We'll be back with the next episode. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks.